And welcome everyone to the AEW Dynamite Post Game Show Live. My name is Tony Schiavone. Coming to you backstage at Daily's Place where we're getting ready to tape some dark matches right now. Had a great crowd night and I really think a great match. I think uh, Rio and Serena uh, Deeb tore it up. Uh, but they weren't the only ones. But that to me was, was the fans. Uh, anyway. Uh, by the way, FC1, yes. Uh, where are you here? Hi, Adam. Uh, our fans not going to be at Re fans will be at Revolution. So I don't know uh, why that was done that way, but hang on, SCFI or SCF one, sci-fi, whatever you want. Uh, tickets will be on sale. There you go. Uh, well, let me want to say hello to this person here uh, from Swope, Virginia. Uh, Annie Brown, Buffalo Gap High School. Atta girl. Annie, how are you? Glad you could be with us on this post game show. Did have a great show tonight. Please uh, appreciate everybody. Uh, appreciate everybody being with us. Uh, Christy Wilson, good evening to you. Uh, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to address this right away from Bill Bradley. Why did Jim Ross call Kenny Omega WWE champion? Because he made a mistake, and you have to keep moving forward when you make a mistake. I hope you get that. If you don't, that's why. Let's see. Uh, hello, Christy. Uh, Rigaltrons, thank you very much. Adam Edge Copeland. Hey, Tony, how are you? Oh, God. You people. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Have you watched the first episode of Young Rock on NBC? No, I haven't because I'm going to be honest with you, I have no interest in it. And it's nothing to say anything about The Rock, but I have no interest in it. I, uh, what have I been watching on TV as of late? Uh, I watched, I'm watching the second season of Future Man on Hulu. I'm watching the old episodes of Monk. Uh, and I think they are on Prime Video. I've been watching that. Obviously, I've been watching One Division, and I just, uh, I just, you know, sorry. Dried chicken without flavor. I completely lost it. Kenny Omega made the bombshell announce. Pretty cool, man. Kenny, uh, Kenny showed a lot of fire, didn't he? I mean, cut himself a little bit on the head here. Uh, it was. Uh, there you go. When is John getting his shot at Kenny? Anthony, it is going to come up at Revolution on Sunday. Sunday, March 7th. There you go. Uh, exploding bar bar death match. I was like, uh, Kenny, that is a normal match for Mox. You're right. ASK videos. I've never seen one. I guess many of you out there have seen it, watching some of the uh, matches from Japan, but uh, there you go. Uh, and I would like to, uh, I would really like to uh, be able to uh, witness that. Why is AEW letting Sting take bumps like that power bomb? Well, Jeff, uh, because he obviously wants to, and he obviously thinks it's good for business. And by the way, Jeff, as scary as that may be, and I know what you're getting at, he's okay. So there you go. Let's go to Roger McCalmont. Overseas, Roger, I guess, is in Great Britain. Uh, oh, he's from Belfast, Northern Ireland, UK. Roger, thank you for saying that. I appreciate you being out there, buddy. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, Ryan Vasquez. Woo! Ryan, how are you, buddy? Thanks for being out there, man. Uh, Aaron uh, Fafield. Uh, yeah, you're right. Lois does rule. But she ain't here right now. <laughs> Thanks for that, buddy. Uh, hey, P. Vince. Appreciate you always with always being out there. Great show. You're right. Love the women's match. Love the Eddie Kingston match at the end. But the Seidel brothers performed exceptionally well. I love the angle with uh, Dark Order coming out to help uh, to help uh, Hangman and Page and showing negative one. 
calling the troops out. That was all good stuff. So, yeah. So, thanks, man. There you go. Well, uh, let's see what else we got. We've got a couple more we're going to find here. Anyway, appreciate you being out there. Hope everybody has been safe. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, thoughts on Sid Vicious. Uh, he was, uh, I, got, I got along with Sid. A lot of people didn't. He was a very, at times, difficult guy to deal with. But I always got along with him. So there you go. That's my thoughts. Uh, Bill DeGala is obviously from good old Harrisonburg, Virginia, home of James Madison University. Whoop. Uh, thanks, Bill, for saying that. Uh, let's see what we got here from uh, Jacoby Wright. Is the season ticket okay for sale? I've lived two minutes away from the other I hope to get it finally meet you. Been a dream to meet you since I was seven. Well, we hope you will be there uh, and hope you'll come out. We're going to be here, uh, Jacoby, for quite a while. Uh, I, I've seen some looking through the uh, looking through the different uh, questions here and comments about when will you come to Rochester? When will you come to New York? When will you come here? Guys, girls, as you know, we're at the mercy of the of this pandemic. Once it relieves, once it uh, relieves or once it gets out, uh, we'll be able to uh, go out and do some things. But right now we can't. So we're going to be, we are going to be uh, here at Daly's Place for quite a while. When will the AEW, when will AEW make a visual replica titles? You know, I, I know that's coming. I just don't know when that's coming. Uh, and I know uh, I know that a lot of people would like to get one. I've read that a lot. Anthony Hayes, uh, does John Silver remind you of Buzz Sawyer? Uh, maybe in the head a little bit, but I mean, Buzz was like, John is really cut. He's smaller than Buzz. And I, I did work with Buzz for a couple, about a year, I guess. Uh, in old Midland Championship Wrestling. Uh, so they were much different. I mean, maybe if you glance at them, they look each other, their hairline is the same, but that's about as far as it goes. But anyway, appreciate that. We know uh, Tony Khan says preached today about Jar Tarzan Boy for Jungle Boy. What would be your theme song? What would be my theme song if copyright and money weren't an issue? Uh Mine would be, uh, it would have to be something from ACDC. Uh, Money Talks, ACDC. You ever heard that one? Go listen to the live version, ACDC too. Money Talks. <laughs> so there you go. Because it do. What else we got here? I'm going to try to find everybody who's... Uh, Paid us a little bit here. I got that one. I got that one. And hang with me here. We're still finding it. Let's just start clicking on. Uh, what did I hold and what did I think of the Rio versus Serena did match? I, I thought it was the match of the card. Best match in the card. When will we see blood and guts? Uh, you'll see it when the pandemic is finally done. I have a feeling that's one of the first things we'll, we'll go out. We'll, uh, have, we'll do. All right. God, I, I hate that. I've, I've got all these on top but I can't find you in here anywhere I just wanted to anyway talk amongst yourselves while like an old man I'm looking for some shit let me see what we got War Machine by ACDC okay how about for those who are about to rock uh, we salute you Will there be a WWE, AEW collaboration one day? Phew, I hope not. Uh, but, you know, one thing we've always said 
in this business is never say never. It's a long way to the top. There you go. Do I have a favorite on the roster right now? Of course it is. My girl, Britt Baker. What kind of perfume do you use that I like? I like your scent. I use uh, Castrol motor oil. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Tristan, thanks, buddy. I appreciate you being out there. <coughs> Tristan Bills in the house. Uh, am I missing somebody here? <coughs> wow. We're going to also check in with, uh, also going to check in with our girl, uh, Jessica. Because Jess, uh, is she around? She's working on something right now? Okay. <coughs> we are going to, uh, okay. Sherry for Trell. Sherry, I can't, I can't show it on screen for some reason. But Sherry, every, Tony, everybody says wrestling effect. I told him get hit by a steel chair and ladders. Yeah. Or <coughs> get, caught, get caught in a cross face or a side headlock. Something like that. Are there any plans for a women's TNT championship? Don't think so. Not right away. <laughs> <coughs> What's going on? <clears throat> the virus has hit me. I got a cookie here. Does he steal these cookies from Cody? Uh, what else we got? Uh, will Ring of Honor join AEW, New Japan, Impact, and NW? Uh, don't know. I, I don't know how far we're going to go with this, to be honest with you. How's everybody doing that? We're doing fine, man. If COVID ever ends, I'm having my doubts. Robert, I'm having my doubts too. It's just like another virus. It's going to be here for a while. Okay. Tim was glad to see Sting take the big bump. Uh, Tim, so was I, buddy. Uh, what else we got? AJW, how are you? Oh, there's Julian. How about that? He looks like Ralphus. Jailbreak, man, Joe. Another great ACDC song, right? The live version. Tremendous. All right, we're getting some more uh, people listening here. Thank you, Tristan. Appreciate you saying that. You like tacos? Not really. Glad to see Sting and AW. Thank you, Michael. Hope you're feeling better, Tony. I feel fine. I'm just for some reason got a call. Uh, Aljan, how are you, bud? Charles, great to see you at Southern Honor Wrestling. It was great to be there, man. I had uh, I had a lot of fun. Well, Matt, I don't. I, it's not that I don't dislike them, but I, it's not my favorite food. Sorry. Everybody's got their own. Uh, Stefan, I know I, with even, without even looking at what this is, I'm not even looking, but I know who it's from, Steph. How you doing, Steph? Uh, I can tell you what this is about. FTR had Seidel's hair. They had Seidel's hair. They had cut scissors ready to cut it the lights went out it was the moment for the debut of wcw starcade headliner ed leslie said what's your favorite excalibur match i never saw excalibur match steph i never did and maybe i should watch one right there you go hello nicholas from connecticut i lived in connecticut for one year of my life what were you doing there? I was working for the WWE, you dummy. Yeah? Yes. What do they do? They, what do they do? 
They just make people miserable. That's their job. That's not true. Okay. okay. Uh, people behind the scenes make them miserable. The experience with Bryce Bordeaux has nothing to tell us but his name. When will y'all acknowledge the FTW title? Uh, I think we do, don't we? Uh, doesn't uh, Taz acknowledge that every every time? He's out there, so it's acknowledged. Okay. I was scared when Sting put that power bomb in cage. I was too. As a matter of fact, uh, I was shocked. To be honest with you. How's the dog take on any good car rides recently? Uh, yeah. Uh, this past, what day was it? It was Friday. He and I took a, took a long car ride. We went, uh, we went down to uh, Buckhead to pick up something. We went uh, all the way up 400, around 285, and up into Marietta to pick up something. Uh, and then we uh, went to the grocery store. And it wasn't that cold, so he stayed in the car while I went in. I always crack the windows for him unless it's really cold. So, yeah, uh, me and the bug take a lot of car rides together. The only problem with taking bug on car rides is he, he sheds all the time. So, And he likes, to, he likes to sit in my lap on a drive, and then he'll sit in my lap on a drive, and when we come to a stop sign or something, I'll roll down the window so he can stick his head out, and when it's real cold, we won't do that, so. Uh, and then when I get out, go to the store, I got to try to brush the hair off. I've got a, I've got a, a dog hair uh, roller that I keep in the car just for that occasion. So there's my bug story. And boy, does he love car rides. Timothy Sting is okay. Need more blood, Tony. Yeah. Uh, Jay wants more big swole on TV. Uh, hello, Kevin. How are you, bud? Let's see if I got all these. Let's see. Man, let me go down to here and see if I can get them out of here. This is really disconcerting that I can't call them, call them up. Okay. Uh, Tony, I love hearing the voices of my younger days with you and JR on AEW. Thanks, Matthew. Thank you. What do you consider your best call ever? I guess my most famous call ever was Hulk Hogan, You Can Go to Hell. Was it my favorite one? Uh, my best call? I, I don't know if I have what I, I called so many matches. I don't know if I have one call that I consider my best ever. I think I did some pretty good work back in the WWE for uh, SummerSlam 89, Royal Rumble 1990. I think I've had some good calls there. Um, had some good calls here, too, uh, and some good WCW calls as well. It's hard for me to pick one, but I guess the Hulk Hogan thing uh, was uh, would be the one that I'm most remembered for. And, of course, butts and seats. Uh Let's see. Let's see. So we got that one. Uh, what else we got? Tina says AEW partnering with Impact is terrible. Why are you doing it? Uh, Tina, I guess so we can get comments from you. I don't know. Uh, yeah, everybody has their opinion. Uh, we're having a good time with it. It's something different, right? And why not something different at times? You know, you, you get to the point. I was often told this, and it's had it hasn't happened here. But you get to the point where you have a finite roster, and then you have different. You run out of different combinations, matches. Bringing in the Good Brothers has helped out, I think, a great deal with an angle. 
It's the Lords of Gotham. There you go. Did you record that? Uh, thanks, Lords of Gotham. Uh, here comes Jess. We'll get with her in just a sec. Uh, well, Skyla loves movies, vlogs, and travel has something for us. If I can find you, girl, I'll... Uh, Uh, here's Pac. Everything is good with you. Fine with me, Pac. How you doing, man? Do you think Orange Cassidy will win the AW Championship one day? He has that edge factor. Uh, I, I always thought he would win the TNT Championship. Guys, guys, thank you so much for saving me on that, man. Saving me on the deal for us. Thank you. That's what this crew's all about, right here. Saving asses, man. Yeah, we're live. Yeah, we're live. Sunny days is on the house. Okay. Hey, if AW made a movie, what would it be about, and who would be the lead actor? Well, it would be about AW. It would be about the journey, I would think. And who would be the lead actor? Uh. Hmm. My favorite actor is John Cusack. So let's put him in there. Okay. So there you go. And here's Skyler. Great show tonight. I'm coming to the USA in November to watch AW no matter where you are. Tony, you're a legend. Thank you. Wardlow should be an AW World Heavyweight Champion by 2022. I would agree. He has all it takes to be the world champion, Skyler. Uh, much love from Liverpool, United Kingdom. Skyla, love you too. Thank you so much for those nice comments. Appreciate you being out there. Uh, here's Steph. I know what this is about without looking at it. Serious question. Steph, you, it, it, it's impossible for you to ask a serious question, but good try. Uh, ticket sales online, online list, AEW Double Nothing is being rescheduled for Vegas on May 29th. Is that accurate? If not, I'm flying in for Revolution. Got to see this main event. Uh, I would think that is not, no, that's not accurate right now. I can tell you right now that the last thing I was told is that we do not know where Revol where uh, Double or Nothing is going to be. Sorry, what? So that's not accurate. It may have been talked about, and I know that's where we had our first double or nothing. That's where we wanted to have it, but I don't know if that's accurate right now. That make any sense to you? Let's see what else we got. Thank you, Steph, for that serious question for the first time in your life. Uh. Let's see. Here's Chief 575. Excalibur is lucky man working with two legends. Thank you. Any intel on Tessa Blanchard coming to AEW? Yes. I don't think that's happening. At least not anytime soon. I would have heard that. Rock and roll, faint noise pollution. Uh, he's my favorite ace song ADC. I'm heading. To Dory Funk Jr. School this year, Jacoby, good. I hope one day for you to call one of my matches. Please remember my name. I will, Jacoby, and I certainly hope you have plenty of success where you are. Dream booking question. Those are always tough. Which W7 Cruiserweight would fit into AEW's current roster and vice versa? Well, obviously, if you go back and take them in their younger days, it would be Eddie. Ultimo Dragon, Eddie Guerrero. That's Ultimo Dragon, Dean Malenko. I think those would be the one. Aha. Uh -huh. See, Brahma? You'd be wrong. Hi, how are you? All right. 
When? Okay, here's a here's a question for somebody in the house. When will AW Revolution tickets come out for a non-season pass holder? A group of friends and I would love to travel from Virginia to catch it. You'll know within the week. We'll know within the week. There you go. What about India? Bash the stampede. Thank you very much. We'll know when they – hey, keep on walking. What about India? No, keep on freaking walking. Okay. This is from Henri Naberfeld. Do you think that Tanel Dashwood would ever cross over to AEW? She worked all out in 2019 for us. She worked all out in 2019 for us, so you never know. Hey, Tony, I know he's a busy guy, but does Chris Harrington ever check his LinkedIn? I can't answer anything for Chris because he's a busy guy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for our time with Jessica Palumbo, who, by the way, <laughs> made it all the way here down to Jacksonville, Florida from Nashville, Tennessee. And it was a treacherous trip. I can tell first of all, it's usually about, I would say about really about a 10 hour trip normally. Oh wait, oh, I'm gonna call the Oh, you already called Look at I'm I was at work on my mind. That's how dedicated I am right now. I'm gonna have uh Jeremy Okay. okay. Sorry, are you, we're doing red velvet interviews. Are, we're doing, are, you, are you done? You want to call her out again here? <laughs> so anyway, uh, normally about a 10-hour trip. I think it's about four hours from Nashville to Atlanta and five hours from Atlanta to Jacksonville. But you uh, took the trip from very treacherous Nashville, Tennessee, which as most of you who maybe live in that area know, the weather's been very, very bad. So tell us about your trip. Okay, so let's just start off. I grew up on the East Coast in Rhode Island. People, we get snow, there's plows. That's what exists, right? Yeah, exactly. You ever hear of plows, Nashville? <laughs> no, you do not know what a plow is. Well, they do. So okay. it's okay, right? Southwest, I fly on them, like no, nothing bad to say about them. Canceled my first flight on Tuesday. Don't worry, I'm getting out at the four o'clock. I'll still make it down to Jacksonville to get my COVID test, come to work. Mm -hmm. Boom, I'm um, canceled around like 11.30, I'm in the office, and I have to, uh, after after I planned uh, getting a nice daycare for Kenny's like uh, crazy preteens that he really wanted to go read to kids to school, or mm -hmm. whatever, not side story. Um, Kenny. Yeah, so uh, Travis, who was our other camera guy, lives in Nashville, and we were trying to figure out how we're going to get from Jacksonville, I mean, well, to Nashville to Jacksonville, when there's no rent-a-cars, the snow's super bad. Mm. I drive a Corolla, and but but Travis has an SUV, yeah, with two hundred thousand miles on it. So that seems probably the most logical car to take. Mm. But we did make a reservation at Hertz. Mm. We show up at Hertz, it's closed. So screw Hertz. Like you really like, you're not going to be a sponsor for AEW after this because it it threw me off for a loop. Mm. Uh, we I think we made it like an hour or so outside of Nashville and some random town mm -hmm. and our car broke down. So, really? The yeah. 200,000 mile yeah, SUV? Yeah, just didn't make it off the road, but we got off the highway, pulled into a truck stop where... Um, the truckers helped you up and you got in the back of a truck. Let me explain to you guys. Okay. I told Tony Khan this. We're missing a big demographic in AEW. Truckers had no idea what all the wrestling was. When I, we, we were like stuck, like, what are you guys doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, with AEW, mm -hmm. no idea what it is. So, so I think they're cord cutters, like Tony told me, but uh, we, there's no Ubers or Lyfts in this town. Okay. We had to. Is, it, is, it, is this like south of Nashville, between Nashville and Chattanooga? Yeah, Manchester. Manchester, well, Tennessee? Know. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I'm not I know, I'm, I know I'm where Manchester Tennessee for a year. I know so where Manchester not. is. Okay. okay. Well, uh, there's a random car there that's like stranded if anybody wants it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay so, so no Ubers, no lifts. So I am so desperate mm -hmm. to try to figure out how we're going to get a car mm -hmm. to bring us to Jacksonville. Okay. Uh, we're calling every close by enterprise, mm -hmm. not Hertz dollar mm. anything to get us there we finally find an enterprise it's about 90 minutes almost like an hour and we change to this enterprise that closes at five o'clock and they'll they'll make me a reservation they'll get me a car but we need a ride there so okay. we were literally asking truckers and i was gonna say i asked a lot of these people like can we get a ride we'll pay you whatever it was we finally get a taxi guy to take us but he picked us in a truck that we had a 
shove all our gear in, which is very expensive. Mm -hmm. This yeah, guy, sure. um, I don't know how to describe him, but uh, very opinionated on yeah. the state of America. You and we okay. just, you just I offered him, hey, do you know where Enterprise is? He said he did. He never got the address from me. I was just like, well, we're in for a ride. Let's see if he knows where it was. We made it there 10 minutes before they closed. And then we were on our way, and mm. we drove the eight hours down to, uh, that, to uh, Jacksonville, yeah. getting in at 1.30 in the morning. Yeah. Uh, so, But it, it's a big thanks to Travis, who's our camera guy. Thank God you ride with somebody cool on yeah. the car. Travis. Yeah. Just took your head in here. He, yeah, he's gonna. This is. Uh, There's Travis. He's the man, buddy. Our, my new tag team partner. So yes. you know what? Um, it, uh, for it, both for both of you, uh, honestly, that's that says a lot about your work ethic. It really yeah, does. Well, I mean, it would have been so easy to say, "Oh, we can't make it." Well, Jess no, no. is trying to not make it. But I push her. I push her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind. I will say this, like, so for people who, um, since Double or Nothing in 2019. There's six of us left who's never missed an AEW pay-per-view mm -hmm. or never missed uh, Dynamite or anything. We've been to every show. We've been mm -hmm. to through COVID, through everything. I'm one of the six. I don't want to lose this game of Survivor, mm -hmm. whatever it is. So, uh, yeah, it, it's crazy, but I'm happy to be here. And, uh, you know, we got it, we have a cool story to tell, you know. Yeah, you sure do. Um, and it's I'm telling you, it's it says a lot about both of you. Um, we we love more, it here. I, we need more people like you. And a lot, I was getting a lot of like work texts during the whole yeah. thing, and I was like, guys, let me just like calm my life down a little bit, get a car, and then I'll answer everyone's text. So mm -hmm. between Kenny telling me about, uh, you know, wanting to, to to read to kids, what a good guy though Kenny is to do that, right? Yeah, oh, he's great. <laughs> he's a wonderful guy. Yeah, I, I've never been around like that many little kids in a long time. So, yeah, well. you know, they had a lot of fun things to say. Yeah, you know? but. Okay. That's that. Okay. But, um, hey, what did you think of Negative One coming out? I thought it was very cool. Yeah. yeah I thought it was very cool. Uh, I love Little Brody. I've known him for a long time, but he always points out how every time he sees me, he's just getting so close to being taller than me. So, yeah, I like just backhanded. I'm just like, I know this game, man. <laughs> I know this game. It's cool. All right. I'm going right. back to work. What is it? I know. Oh, this is still a yeah. Harrington question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, then I have LinkedIn. I just, Good job. Right. But thanks, guys. All right. Thanks. Great story, man. That's uh, my uh, years ago. My mom told me, I don't know, because she had to work a lot of odd jobs uh, to make ends meet. Uh, she told me, she said, always work hard because most people don't. And she was right. You'll be surprised how many people do not have the work ethic. Uh, there you go. Shout out from the UK to uh, my ear. Thank you, buddy. Yes, yes. I do? Yeah. Oh, oh, man, I was just a guest, guys. I told these people, don't try to sue me, because whatever Matt Hardy tells me to do, I'm going to do, and I have to take the dude out to get the mascot costume. What up, Tony? What up? Mm. We're live. Oh, you on Facebook Live? What is this? Watch about to get a mad views right now, because your boy just came in the spot. Don't make it hot. Okay. What are you talking about, Tony? Uh, You're not in here spitting lies about... Myself, I would King never. Isaiah, right? Uh, you hear that? I'm sorry, King Isaiah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, yeah, look yeah, at this. Yeah, he's a made yeah, man yeah. now. Look, don't get he's a made man. Don't get starstruck in the diamonds, baby. It's all yeah. real. It's all real. You see that? It's all real. Shout out to Matt Hardy for giving me this. And you, you know what? Adam Page is a piece of trash. Yes. I wanted to give him the world. I was going to turn him into a king. And what did he do? Were you going to give him Adam Page something like this? I would have given him some cowboy stuff. Yeah. I'm a thoughtful, benevolent leader. Yeah. I've always thought that about you. Good. It's right. But, but but you know what Adam Page did? He's a money-grabbing carny. He tried to take my money from me. Can, can you believe it? Oh, I was appalled. I mean, did you talk about how, how much of an injustice, how terrible that was out there? I thought it was terrible. He's, yeah. a, he's a scoundrel. Yeah, I know. And he, he doesn't appreciate you. No. And listen, I if somebody like you says, well, I shouldn't say this because I like my money. But uh, if someone like you would say, I'll give you 70%. I say, yes, sir, but he will make a lot of money. Of course. Right. He was going to make more money than ever. Yes. I was going to make him the number one guy in AEW, the number one guy in the entire industry. Yeah. That means he could like make 700000 a year and you'd make 300000 a year. Yeah. And he made a fool out of me. And no one makes a fool out of me. So, the revolution, mm -hmm. I'm going to hurt him physically, mm -hmm. financially. I'm going to blackball his ass. Yeah, first quarter of, uh, yeah, that's a lot of money. 
It is a high Bobby. money. So. But hey, he's big money man. He got it. Tony, yes. Make sure you make me a sympathetic, a uh, sympathetic figure to the viewers. I will. Because I am. Okay. I'm. I'm the victim here. Huh? I'm the victim. You hear that, fellas? Yeah. Yeah. What y'all looking at? Hold on. Feel this. Feel this shirt real quick. You know what material this is? No. What is? What for material? I'm out. <laughs> Yeah, Tony. Nice costume that you had tonight. Okay, so that was unexpected. That's the real Yeah, Jackson Duvall. There he was. Hey, so we had a great time tonight. We appreciate all the comments, everybody out there. Uh, any good restaurants in Jacksonville you like? I like uh, Morton's. Uh, and anyway, so that's it. We're out of time. Desperately, it's all. Is that fire? Is that fireworks going on? Oh, one final thing. Congratulations to Cody and Brandy, a new girl, soon to be in their family, brand new baby girl, and uh, they certainly uh, are going. Their lives are going to change, and we're going to be behind them. So, congratulations on that. It was quite a night. All right, everybody. Thanks for being with us. Uh, join us next week for Dine O Might. On Wednesday, 8 o'clock Eastern, and I'm Tony Schiavone, out. <laughs>